standing right over the 220 and looking through the mesh down into the river that is flowing beneath and uh, you see all here you you if if you are not following the various updates you wouldn't even understand what took place here before we got to this stage now we had the 220 bill there was a raised wall that wall had an additional piece to it which is this piece you're looking at the fencing poles were casted into the concrete into the, the hole here and now we have the area fill up back to a higher level and the mesh are in now where you just see that truck pass there that is the last piece of work that is left to be done regarding the fencing you have to do dumping of some some more stuff here i think as you can see they actually did did some some dumping of stuff here so i don't know if they have to raise it a bit more if they have to dump more stuff here but to bring it to the level to where they wanted to go to link with that piece up there that has already been done so all here you see the boulders that are put in place to, to hold up the area there and on top of that we have the dirt so most likely we're going to pack more dirt here, and then we're going to have a level straight across from here going across with the fencing so this is the next piece that is left to be done to close off this area and when this is done the vehicle will be able to pass to come down here to get onto the site so the work on the fencing is going along quite nicely the guys are actually doing also the fencing on the apron the temporary fencing and that is to protect that area from the work that will be done on the hangars to put to separate those two areas while the airport is in operation three of them have already been completed and they are doing the grassing on the fourth one here just up here this one on the left was the first one to be done and then we have these other three here being done now right here where the holes are already dug in the earth we have what seems to be biggest of the five houses this one is the last one left to be done nothing is happening here today saturday the 14th day of may 2016 but you can see the development so far regarding the building of this caribot there where they are recreating this area where they once had a Carib village. I have made my way all up to the north side of the airport site and just to give you an idea as to what is going on. All the work regarding the fencing and other drainage work on this side of the, the site, those work have been completed. What is left to be done however is the putting up of the meshes at these this area the north western area of the site where we have all the poles in position and all that is left to be done is to put up the mesh to secure this area so when the meshes are in place and all this area is now protected you are going to have any Thing entering the site except the pass through that area there where we have that space and I guess they're leaving it open so that equipment could come in to do whatever corrective work here that they have to do in this area beyond this train that they have right here they will have to pass through that spot but other than that this area is done and the water is flowing to the drain as it is expected to do 
we have quite a, a bit of water still here in this train I can't recall us having any rain last night but we have water running in this drain here so still some work to be done here in these areas as you can see the fencing has gotten up to the mesh has gotten up to this point here so from here go back to the south we're gonna have more work to be done with putting up the meshes here last week Saturday when I visited the petroglyph area I was able to walk right across here and get back into this area where I could have shown you the back side the other side down there of the massive stone rocks that left to become to come down in that area there now this week I am back this is what we are seeing all this area is no doubt soft soil as you can see below us how much of it, of it has come down over the past week now the problem rock is, is further down as you can see that big tough it is not looking as tough as the others on the other side around there so this show won't pose much of a problem but you are taking down this area quite nicely all here you're seeing is dirt the trucks have been loaded with the dirt from here and they have been taken to other areas on the side so this is just to give you um, the progress of the work so far and this is on the northern end of the petroglyph hill I will be going up on the top of there to see how on top there look like and to give you an update of the walk so far on that side now it is just approaching after one and you know it, the lunch time is over so the guys are slowly getting back to their post to continue the walk here at the site and particular here at the petroglyph I am on top of the hill of the petrocliff hill now you remember last week I was um, somewhere over where that flag is and that yellow drill was on this side of the bank and I told you the way it looks like to me as if where the drill was and where I was standing next to the flag it looks as though that is the line that they are taking how far back to the hillside that they will be coming to bring it down to ground level now all this area where I'm at right now is where the drill was last week Saturday drilling now they have blasted this area and now this is what we have here a lot of the, the soil here loose mixed with stone they can be easily pushed away by um, the caterpillar which actually the caterpillar was doing when I visit here on Wednesday midweek this week the caterpillar was actually on this hill pushing all this loose rubble over the bank side now here we have some tough rocks some of them looking tough and mix with soft rocks in between so if this is the distance back to where they're going this then I don't think they'll be doing much blasting here probably will just push away some of that I don't know how they're gonna do it but underneath where I'm standing here this wide area we sure have some hard rocks below as you can see right there in front of us that is a sign of one but mixed in between we also have soft soil that can be pushed over the bank quite easily so we are keeping track of the progress of the work on this hill because this hill has to come down in order for us to continue with the fencing work going back to the south to link up with that piece that they would have already done just north of the commercial apron area where they have done that small piece that is going to link up back they're coming somewhere down along the the 191 and coming across the 191 and that will be linking up to that area but all of this bank side has to come right down to the level of the ground the level of the runway down there 
as it is being done down at the Maconiam Hill and just below the hill where we have the control tower. I am now here at the other end, that is the southern end of this hill and up there is where we have the flag still flying on the pole there. Now this little pathway here is where the drill or the bulldozer used to get up on the hillside when it wanted to come up and when we look down here you are seeing where the roadway is right down below us down there all this area will be pushed away and come down coming down with the same level of of the the land area where you see the truck is coming up down here all here will have to come to the level of that area where the truck is so that the fencing can pass so you already see where they have taken the route the guide so most likely where the flagpole is up there this is the distance back to where the fencing will be passing no doubt there's gonna be some space in between the fencing and the bank side itself right down below me all this big rock you're seeing right in front of you here that is loose rock can be pushed over so if the caterpillar or when the caterpillar comes up here the bulldozer these can be just pushed over they have been blasted they're just loosen those doors you're seeing right in front of us here and where i'm standing up here just below me you see all that area down there they would have already pushed away some of the the soil from the blasting now where you're seeing the cardboard resting on the gum it areas where they would have already dug drill hole or about to drill holes you know so the drill is on the hillside i believe it is working the person who operates the drill um I am not sure um, what is happening if the, the, the drill is working but I know when I came here on Wednesday the drill, this drill was actually drilled. The other one which is on the hill just above me on my left, the part for that as far as what I've just gathered will be coming in sometime in the week coming so that drill should be up and running um, in the weeks to come and once both drills are working we are going to have more work done on this same now i'm going to use this route here now to get back down to the flat i'm going to walk here this could not have been done last week but once the caterpillar makes a way to come up i can make that same route to move because i'm just walking and i'm going back down to get back to the south of the petrocliff field as you know this is just the road here the access road that um the vehicles are using currently they're using this road and now they have the one on the north that they can use to get to the site and they're also building one on the south side so when the road on the south especially is completed this roadway i believe would be closer because they're working feverishly they're paying a lot of attention to the road on the south because that seems to be a safer road to get for um residents to get to their homes in mount pleasant area and argyle and uh, Waraku, sorry, than the one down here where we have the crossing over the water which is close to the sea. So now I'm back here on the flat on the roadway. So all the way I'm standing here, if I were to turn and look up back on the hill from where I just came all this area coming down to the road will be removed in times to come and no vehicle will be able to use this road here to get to the site so all here will be closed off but currently they can still use it because they have not accomplished the task that they set out to do regarding the road down at the south side Right in this area you could very well have the garage to service the vehicles that will be servicing the, the airport area. You have the, the, the garbage trucks and all those other vehicles that will be servicing the airport. 
Now, these vehicles, you know, from time to time, they will break down and need fixing. So I believe that is right in this area here, south of where we have the petrol cliff, just on the north side of the 191, which passes just over there where you see that those concrete line going all the way up there. Just in this area, we will have our garage. Further up on the western side, just um, west of the apron, on the north side actually, um, northwest of the apron, you're going to have uh, a garage and an open space garage, a covered area garage and an open area garage where the vehicles that will be servicing the airport will be parked, that will be the parking space and down here will be the garage area. Now on top of the hill up there in the Pedroglyph Hill, the drill now started to do the drilling after the lunch break. So it is up there on the hill. As you see, it is up in the upright position, that piece there. When I passed it earlier, it was um, down. So now it is back up and uh, it is doing the drilling in those rocks up there as they take down this hill. All this area of the bank side here where the vehicles are now passing, vehicles passing to get to the site currently. They're using this road here. As you can see coming down from the hill up there, that vehicle. All this bank side will be coming right down to the level to where I'm standing here, to the ground level. Going also, so in a couple weeks from now, or a couple months from now, I could stand right here and look straight across and see the north of the runway from here right now it's not possible because of this bank area the parking area for the service vehicles those vehicles you're seeing over there on the parking lot they are going to be parked in this area where you see those stakes already placed on the ground there this that is demarcating the area where the parking lot parking garage the parking lot will be for them this garage will be one section i believe i heard will be covered another one will be open now the fencing work along this area will no doubt follow the drain system that we have been you see that the fencing has gotten up to that point so i believe that they're going to continue with a wall or blocks or whatever around this area of the river that we have here and coming all the way alongside here and linking maybe back up to the exit of the drain that they have up there the fencing will follow all that pattern and it will go up to a certain point and then across to the building i don't know exactly where on the building it will go now it could very well be that area where you see they're doing that work up. You see where that jeep is parked there. It could very well be that the fencing will go straight across and jam to that wall on the building. But that is left to be seen. I am only trying to figure it out. If you recall how E.T. Joshua looks, that the fencing in the area of the building itself jams to the building. So the building actually forms a part of the barricade for the airport site the secured area of the airport so this is left to be seen and uh, but i don't know how it is going to be done but we know that the garage or uh, for the parking of the vehicles that will be servicing the airport will be in this area and uh, thus the reason why we're going to have a roadway around here we already seen the asphalting of this area so when the vehicles that service the airport needs to get to the servicing garage they will actually be using this route here to get to the garage which will be located down there on the east the northeastern side of this of the area here just below where we have the fencing below the bank where the road is now passing we're going to have our garage there. You 
remember while I, when I was going up I show you an area where we had dirt on this just below this side just below the Makoni Yami Hill now I am making my way down it's just about three o'clock and now you are not seeing any dirt at all the dirt was actually somewhere in this area so all that dirt that has been lying here waiting to be removed have now been removed so all that you have here now is the clear view from one end to the next of this area just below where we have the Makoni Yami here where the fencing the drain and the fuel pipe for Rubis, Rubis that will be pumping the fuel from the Stubbs Bay to the fuel farm all that is left to be done here so now that the area has been cleared we can expect to see in the weeks coming some work preparation work start to take place here regarding the installation of the pipes the fencing and the drain to complete this area regarding the fencing This is the point to which the fencing just below the Makani Yama Hill has gotten to. Now they could not have gone further because of the hillside. Now in my back turn to that point to where they have gotten to, looking back to the north, you can see a clear view to the fencing that we have somewhere up in the distance up there. Uh, this is what is left to be done regarding the fencing work here at this end of the site. Now we also have a drain here and this drain should be taking the water back to the area of the breadfruit gutter and emptying into a drain that runs under the first kilometer of the runway from west to east taking the water into the seaside now here on the side we have the rubis pipe rubis has run the pipe just like how the fencing has been run where we stop here and up to a certain point behind us their fuel pipe starts from here going back to the end down there and then when they start to do the fitting up now when they start the work here they can start also with the planting of the fuel pipes seeing that the area has now been cleared so very soon we'll be having this sort of work going on here to complete this area fencing fuel pipes and the drainage system so now we are back here where they're putting up the actually pouring the concrete of the foot at the footing of these poles they have already put up both poles um, where the gateway is going to go here is the gate on the ground and as soon as the concrete is dried in this area we're going to see the gate go into position this morning when i was here we just saw them digging out actually running the line and taking a level from the wall behind us here now you see the blocks work in position so i don't know what exactly going to happen here if the fencing is going to go on top of these blocks but this is what you're seeing here right now now <coughs> also this morning when i passed here we had some wooden sticks running along this area here and we had a little bank side now you are seeing what has happened here. you are seeing what has taken place here right now so this i was wondering exactly what they were going to do here but like oftentimes one once i see something i'm not quite sure i can guarantee you that once i keep checking it 
I eventually will see exactly what is taking place. And uh, this is a case in point. This morning when we passed here, uh, we saw the bank. We actually had uh, that white PVC pipe hanging up. And uh, to that PVC pipe, no doubt, we had uh, the cables for these lights. But now you're seeing exactly what has taken place here this afternoon. Now that I pass back here, just about 3.30. So the work continues here at the area where we have the approach lights. And uh, pretty soon we're going to see all this area fence. Now we have the beautiful looking stubs bed down here. With the nice green um, area along the coastal line here. And our skies are very, the sky is very cloudy with lots of clouds and uh, the warm sunshine coming down here on this side with nice cool breeze coming in from the east. Everything is nice. St. Vincent, our paradise. Mm. Watch out. What are you looking at here? That is the road that is connecting to the one that they're going up on the hill with and this for those people who want to come down to do their fishing and so forth you can still have a roadway to use to come down yeah to go and do your fishing and i guess when ruby start to plant their pipes the fuel pipes they will be using this roadway to get them i don't know if they will asphalt it later down in when everything is completed, that is left to be seen. As you can see for yourself, the laying of the base stones for this roadway that will be coming in from the main road just below the club Casablanca and uh, linking up to that section which they would have already done last this week as they feverishly work on this access road to the south to take vehicles to and from the Waraku among pleasant area this is what you have taken place here Today, Saturday, the 14th day of May 2016. So here we have, they have come to this point now to start dumping the stone going back to the flat down there where they have gotten to. But it's much easier for the trucks to come here and dump the stone and push towards the arm. Um, where push forward because it is easier for the grader now what i've got is that is that they are going to do up to this point here about today and tomorrow if life spare they continue the other area going right up to the roadway so anytime next week by the end of next week who knows we might see this whole area asphalted and i hope that i will be able to get a chance to show you when the asphalt work is actually taking place and not just to come after it has been done but this is what is taking place here right now as i speak with you there you can see a truck and the second truck load that has come this far to dump its load of aggregates the, the base stones before you have um, the asphalt the stones the dump here the piece of equipment behind me will level it off as you are seeing and then we have the compactor will come and compact this area and then we'll have the asphalting work you will see the truck now is offloading it's slowed here and down below the compactor has already started to do the compaction work so after the trucks have dumped a number of loads of stone this equipment here which i call the grader will come and push it away push these stones level them off in whatever grade slope they want whether in or out and so we'll have our stones for our roadway you see where the truck has gotten to this green truck has gotten to down there 
so there's where they have stopped so they're going to dump the stones all the trucks coming with the stones they're going to dump the stones go forward back to down there where they have stopped and then the grader will come and push these stones off to link back up with that area down there so this is what is happening right now as you can see the truck is reversing this will be the tow truck load to be dumped here where you see that man he is responsible for the laying of the stones whether here or where we have the runway or the apron this man his name is Idel the Cuban person who is responsible for the laying down of base stones anywhere you see the base stones are being laid whether on the roadway or where you have the apron or the runway this is the man who is responsible for that work seeing how much easier it is now the way they are doing it now it could not have been done before because the surveyors were on top of the hill right here doing some surveyors work but now they are finished with the surveying of this area this can be done the way it is being done now so the trucks are reversing and they dump the load as they go right down to the end then we'll have the spreading of the stones afterwards and by next week when we come back here no doubt we are going to see some nice road here where we are coming in from the main road just below the club Casablanca and heading all the way down to the south and the eastern side of the of the side passing all the way over there on that hill side and coming down on the slope there going all the way along over to where we have that house there and going wrong to Waroko and coming back over and you can come all the way back wrong there on the hill the Johnson Hill on the road and go back out to the main road just opposite the Argyle Primary School. in all this area this is the roadway the windward highway and now we have seen that this area was compacted now remember this morning when i passed here we just had uh, the bulldozer just trying to level off the dirt around the wall area here and we had trucks coming up dumping loads of dirt now the place have been compacted the surveyor has surveyed the area you see all the wooden sticks in position so what is going to happen next is that they're going to start laying down the base stones maybe they're starting from up this area tomorrow they have done up to a certain point so far around the corner down there and so from tomorrow hopefully they're going to continue with the laying of the base stones in this area and by next weekend or so 
we should see some asphalting work done right here in this area so there you have it i have come to the end of my tour for today saturday the 14th day of may 2016 so until i come back with you here next week saturday i am taking my leave here for today hope that you will enjoy every bit of this coverage for today saturday and looking forward to meet with you next week if it be the will of the lord